Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to discuss how to fill drop down list box dynamically by using Angular JavaScript framework with PHP programming. For discuss this things we will define two drop down list, in first select box we will fill country name which is get from MySQL table by using Angular JavaScript and in second drop down list we will fill state name a first selected drop down list country which is also get from MySQL table by using Angular JavaScript with PHP programming language. This things will done in this video tutorial, now this is my testing database in which we have make two table like country and state. In country table we will store name of country and this table has two column like country aid and country name and in second table we have store state name and this table has three column like stated, country aid and state name. This is my index.php page and on this page we have used Angular JavaScript CTN link for using Angular JavaScript code on this page and we have also added Bootstrap CTN link for using Bootstrap CSS on this page. Then after first we have defined one division tag with attribute 10 g app directive is equal to my app. Here my app parameter refers to an HTML element in which the application will run. Then after we have one more attribute send g controller directive is equal to user controller into this division tag, and g controller directive define the application controller. After this in this division first we have defined first select box for load country name, so for this we have right select tag with attribute name is equal to country and ng model directive is equal to country. Here ng model directive binds the value of select box to our Angular JavaScript application data. Same way we have defined second select box for load state name, so for this we have right select tag with attribute name is equal to state and ng model directive is equal to state and this ng model directive binds the value of state select box to our Angular JavaScript application data. Now we want to load country name and country select box on page load. So for this we have add one more directive like ng init to this division tag, so for this we have write ng init is equal to load country function. This directive will call this load country function on page load and this function will fill country select box. Now we have move to write angular javascript code which we have write under this script tag. First we want to define angular javascript application. So for this we have write variable app is equal to angular.module with two argument, in first argument we have write application name my app and in second parameter we have write blank array. This module defines angular javascript application. Then after we have write app.controller method with two argument. In first we have write controller name which is user controller and in second we have write function with two argument like dollar scope and dollar http. Here dollar scope is the binding part between the HTML and the controller and dollar http is an Angular JavaScript service for reading data from remote servers. In this first we have define load country function so for this we have write dollar scope dot load country function name is equal to anonymous function. This way we have define load country angular javascript function. In this function we want to send request to server and fetch country data from country table. So for this we have write dollar http dot get method and in this method we have write page name to which we want to send request. Here we want to send request to loadcountry.php, so we have write loadcountry.php page. This function will send request to this page and get country data from my SQL table. Then after we have write success callback function with one argument data, this function will receive data from this page and store into this data argument. Now we want to store data into one object. So we can access data from this object in HTML control, 
so we have write dollar scope object dot countries is equal to data. This will store all data into this scope object. Now we have moved to write PHP code into load country dot PHP page. On this page first we have make database connection. So for this we have writ dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name is equal to locale lost. Username is equal to root, password is equal to blank and database name is equal to testing. After making database connection we have defined output variable is equal blank array. We will store country data into this array and convert this variable data into JSON format and send back to Angular JavaScript function. Then after we have write query variable is equal to select start from country order by country name in ascending order. We have create select query and store into this query variable. After this we want to execute this query, so for this we have write result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string which is dollar connect variable and in second parameter we have write dollar query variable and we have store select query. Now we have while loop with open and close bracket and between this bracket we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with one argument. In this we have write dollar result variable. This function will convert query result into associative array and store into this row variable. In while loop we have write dollar output array is equal to dollar row variable. This code will store all dollar row data into this output array variable. In Angular JavaScript, it will accept data only in JSON format. So for this first we want to convert this data into JSON string. So for this first we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with one argument like dollar output variable. This function will convert data of this variable to JSON string and send to Angular JavaScript function. Now we have again move to index.php page and here load country function has received data from load country.php page and store into this countries. Now we want to display country data into this country select box. So we have write ng repeat directive is equal to country in countries into his select box. Here ng repeat directive repeats a set of HTML a given number of times an ng repeat expression which is country and countries. Here countries is the object which we have create in our Angular JavaScript load country function in which we have store country data which we have received from load country .php page and country is the object of this countries and we can access the all countries data by this country object. Then after in this select box we have it one more attribute value is equal to two times open and close bracket and between this bracket we have write country object dot country id. Here country id is the mysql table column name of country table. This will print country id value here. Then after we want to print country name, so for this we have write two times open and close bracket and between bracket we have write country object dot country name. This will print country name under this select box and by ng repeat directive it will print all country name under this select box. Now we have check output in browser. Friends we can see that country select box has been filled by country name by using angular javascript load country function. Now we want to print state select box with state name of selected country name. For example suppose we have select United States of America as country name then in state select box we want to display only United States of America state only. So for this we have go to our index.php page and on that page we have go to country select box and add one more directive like ng change is equal to load state function. 
When we have select country name then at the time this function will called and it will fill state select box with state name of selected country. Now we have go to JavaScript code and here we have to define this load state function. So for this we have write dollar scope dot load state is equal to anonymous function. This way we have defined this load state function. In this function we have write dollar http with post method and in this first we have write load state dot php page. This will send request to this page. In second we have write which data you want to send with this request. We want to send country id. So for this we have write country id with dollar scope object dot country. Here country is the ng model name of country select box. So when we have select country select box, then by dollar scope object we can get this value of selected country and store into this country id in JSON format. After this we have write success callback function and this function will receive data from load state dot php page which is stored into this data variable. Now we have stored this data into one dollar scope object, so we can access this data into state select box. So for this we have write dollar scope dot object name states is equal to data. This will store data into the states object. Now we have moved to write PHP code into load state dot PHP page. And on this page first we have make database on this page and after making database connection we have defined one output variable with blank array. Angular JavaScript function send data in JSON format in post method. So first we have to get that data and store into local variable. So for this we have write dollar data variable is equal to JSON decode function and this function will convert JSON string to PHP array object. In this function we have write file get contents function with one argument which is PHP input stream. With the help of this file get contents, it will get JSON data from this input stream and convert it into PHP objects and store into this dollar data variable. Now we have write select query for fetch particular country state name. So for this we have write query variable is equal to select star from state where country it is equal to dollar data with object country it order by state name in ascending order. Here country it we have received from Angular JavaScript function request. After this we want to execute this query, so for this we have write result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write query variable. This will execute this query and store result into this result variable. After this we have write while loop with open and close bracket and between this bracket we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with one dollar result variable as argument. This function will convert query result into associative array format and store into this dollar row variable. In this while loop we have write dollar output array variable is equal to dollar row variable. This code will store all dollar variable data into this dollar output variable. Now we want to send back data to Angular JavaScript application in JSON format. So for this we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with one argument which is dollar output variable. This function will convert data into JSON string format and send back to Angular JavaScript application. So we have go to index.php page and on this page we have to show state name under state select box. So we have go to state select box and write option with ng repeat directive is equal to state and states. Here states is the dollar scope object which we have create under load state function and in this we have store state data which we have received from load state dot php page and by using state we can access the data for states object. Then after we have write value is equal to 2 time open and close bracket and between bracket we have write state dot stated. 
Here stated is the table column name and by using state object we can print the stated into this value attribute. Then after we want to print the state name between option tag, so for this we have write two time open and close bracket and between bracket we have write state dot state name. This will print state name under state select box. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends when we have select Australia from country select box then in state select box load Australian country state list. So our code is working for dynamic drop down list by using Angular JavaScript with PHP script. So, in this video we have filled country select box by Angular JavaScript function. This function send requested to PHP script and that script send back data and filled country select box. Then after we want to load state name of selected country in state select box. So for this we have add function under country select box on change event so, when we have select any country, then this function is called and this function again send requested to PHP script and it send back data and by angular javascript directive we have display state name under state select box. So, this way we have developed dynamic select box by using angular javascript framework with PHP programming. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends, or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.